When you see gods interacting with each other, there's a reason that there's war. Essentially, the gods who are enlightened and more orderly intelligent. Orderly intelligence is different than unenlightened intelligence. Humans have unenlightened intelligence. If you put a human out in a field, they will starve to death because they will not by themselves, they won't ever think of corn. They won't think of wheat. If you put them in a forest, a human will starve because they won't think of a bow and arrow. They'll go chasing an animal or throwing a rock or stick at it, but they won't think of a weapon. That's an enlightened thought. Even though the tools for weapons are in the forest, humans won't think of that. If humans are in the ocean, they'll figure out how to swim eventually, but they won't think of fishing. They won't think of a, a net or a pole. Those thoughts come from gods. Even if a human was a powerful swimmer, even if a human was a very powerful fighter and could fight tigers and bears and lions and all that, they won't think of a gun. A gun doesn't require power. It just requires enough skill to hold the weapon and pull the trigger. But you have to be taught that. That's the enlightened energy that a human needs once they become a god. Because even a god, if they're not enlightened, they're just, they're just better at grappling with fish. They're better at you know, gathering food without a farm. But they won't be able to do something like invent a tractor or invent putting a seed in the ground and waiting for it to grow. Humans did that for thousands of years before we figured out, maybe if I built a farm, the food would come to me. Because when humans started making farms, guess what happened? Animals liked the food too. They would come. You put out a little corn and the deer would show up. You put out a little bit more corn, wild chickens would show up. You keep giving them corn, they'll stay. <laughs> and all of a sudden you got meat that you didn't have to go hunt. If you feed the fish, you give them food in an area, they'll farm that area for you. Then you can put a net out there and take a few of them. It's that kind of enlightened thinking that makes gods grow better, that makes them more powerful. Because if a god doesn't have to spend all his or her time hunting and fishing, they can maybe build a palace. They can maybe write a few books. They can maybe grow a healthier family. They can maybe discover gold, et cetera, et cetera. But being a god or just being a, a person doesn't really guarantee you anything until you work on your enlightenment. And that may just be the way we sell it. Because people ask, well, how do we get chickens? Well, we built a farm first. That's why chickens occur on farms. People don't even think about that. How do we get cows? Cows used to be wild until we started feeding them, and they came to us. Horses used to be wild. You know why they came to us? We fed them. So they didn't have to go out looking for food. Those are enlightened thoughts. Primitive enlightenment.